Welcome back to a wave-by-wave, figure-by-figure release review of the modern Star Wars action figures. And since we're going in release order, well, it's time to talk about Cantina Aliens, and not those vintage Cantina Aliens, or even these Cantina Aliens. Well, Cantina Aliens as a, uh, as a whole tend to be extremely popular, not just amongst collectors, but amongst toy makers too. They show up in all sorts of form factors. But nothing beats the 3 and 3 fourth collection. We have had more Cantina figures made in this scale, in this style, in the modern line than any other toy form factor. You could have an entire army of Cantina aliens, and one of the cool things is they all look different, so it's not like, you know, just a bunch of stormtroopers on your shelf. Well, they've even made the bartender, you know, the guy who gets them all, uh, gets them all drunk. Are you allowed to say that? Well, yeah, they're, all, they're drinking alcohol, right? In a kid's movie? Hey, why not? Now, while we haven't had a proper cantina playset, we've had a few attempts. We've had some bar sections, we've had some cardboard that more or less folds out into a cantina, and hey, you know, why not? It's all funsies. But they have yet to actually make a cantina for us to put our figures, and I'm still kind of holding out hope. Come on, Hasbro Pulse, make it happen. Or HasLab. All right, well, since we're going in figure release order and we're talking about Cantina Aliens, the next up in the modern Star Wars line that started off again in 1995 are the guys who are in charge of making all of the music. Well, I guess John Williams would be the one who makes all of the music, but he actually wrote this too. Well, if you hadn't guessed it by now, we are talking about the Cantina Band members, otherwise known as Figrin Don and the Modal Nodes who are Jizz Whalers. No, I'm not making that up. That's the name of the style of the music that they play. So, the first ever action figure of the modal nodes and the uh, Cantina band was on the horizon and finally was going to become available for Star Wars collectors now that the modern line was going at full speed, I guess you could say. And Hasbro slash Kenner well, it was Hasbro, but they were using the Kenner logo, gave you a really interesting way of getting these figures. Now, obviously, the popularity of the Cantina band actually extends way beyond the casual fan base. You can even, you know, get the music written for them in order to play on the piano or violin. I think part of the reason for their popularity in mass culture is they're the closest alien in Star Wars that looks sort of like the, I guess, little greys, the pop culture alien. You know, the ones that, that met with the, uh, you know, Germany in World War II and show up on book covers in the X-Files. And, you know, they've kind of made it through pop culture, shall we say, as the go-to look for aliens. And, uh, you know, I have no proof of this, but I think that that's why they've been so popular. Now, they never made it into the vintage line, along with quite a few other characters that never made it into the vintage line. And there have been more than a few customs of what the figure may have, could have looked like had it been released in the vintage line. And they've come close with some other modern figures. But because of the fan demand and the fact that they have really stayed part of pop culture for many, many years. It was more than enough time had gone by that it was time for these figures to be added as official toys. And this wasn't going to happen at retail. This was going to happen through the official Star Wars fan club through the Star Wars Insider magazine. So between different waves at retail, and actually right after the uh, Spirit of Obi-Wan, as far as figure release, came the offer to get... Figurin Don and the Modal Nodes from the Star Wars Insider. If you ordered them, you got a few months later in a white shipper box a polybagged action figure and five polybagged accessories for said action figure. So this was because there were five unique instruments that the band played, and the figure was designed so that he... He, right? They're all, they're all male, right? God, maybe they are. Maybe they're, some of them are female. Who knows? I mean, I am assuming they're male. Um, you know, they don't exactly have, uh, you know, gender-specific, uh, you know, types in every alien. I'm totally getting off track, aren't I? The point is you got five figures, or rather five accessories, and the option to buy. Well, you could buy as many as you wanted, but they gave you the option of buying one or buying a set of five. 
Of course, you could buy, you know, 100 if you really wanted to, and you could truly army build, but you only got five unique accessories. And every figure was obviously the exact same, but this is completely normal since in the canon, in the, in the on-screen, in, in the movie, they all dressed the same. And uh, so having five of the exact same figure made perfect sense, because whether this was their band outfit or the way all of their species dressed, either way, this was what they looked like. Now, Star Wars figures for, have always had non-articulated arms. Of course, there was the first Han Solo figure that had his arm kind of curved up so he could do sort of that Western, you know, quick draw look, but it was not articulated at the elbow. The Cantina figures were the first ever Star Wars figure to have not only articulated elbows, but they had swivel wrists. This was done because they needed to hold five different instruments, five different accessories in different ways. So for the first time ever, we now had a breakthrough as far as Star Wars articulation in a basic three and three fourth figure. Obviously, flash forward to today, and Star Wars figures have articulation out the wazoo. Is that a technical term, out the wazoo? But back in uh, 1996, this was pretty groundbreaking. So a basic swivel joint at the elbow and then a twist joint at the wrist allowed the different band members to hold each of the five different instruments that you could get. And again, they were all wearing the same prosthetic in the movie, so they could look exactly the same, and it didn't matter that you had five of the same figure. You wanted to have the whole band. And that brings up an interesting point. How many Cantina band members were in the complete band? When they did the busts, there were five different ones because there are five different unique instruments. But when they released the 12-inch version of the figures, six different unique characters were made. And this led a lot of fans to start to question, well, wait a minute, exactly how many members are there to Figurin Don and the modal nodes? Is it Figurin Dan? Figurin Don? I think Don because of the apostrophe. I mean, different scales have done different amounts. When Galactic Heroes did them, they only released two different figures in the Cantina multi-pack. So they chose the figures that probably had the most different looking instruments. The box thingy with the circle on top and the, the, the flute, <laughs> for lack of a better word. I mean, I know all these instruments have technical terms and names, but I'm not going to get into that on this video because I'm lazy. And Funko has released Figurin Dan, the band leader, but not the other members. So going by toy lines, it's a little tough. There's been official uh, Lucasfilm released art, such as this for the CD cover that had six members shown, with two of them playing the same instrument. And six members are also seen in the vintage Star Wars storybook, where the figures, or rather the band, was recreated in art form. So exactly how many band members do you need in toy form to accurately show what they look like on screen? Well, to give credit where credit's due, CantinaCustoms.com did a screen-by-screen -screen analysis counting the number of band members, trying to figure out exactly how many there are. And five, six, are there seven? Well, they absolutely solved the mystery. There are seven Cantina band members, and this is the only shot in the movie where you can see all seven. Check out Cantina Customs for all of their in-depth investigation, credit where credit's due. But yes, there are seven band members, and the reason there's five instruments included is because two of the band members, Ichabod, Gaon, Tidden, Da'al, Figrin, Dan, and, uh, let's see, Lirin, Kern play the same instrument, so there's two double instruments there. So if you really want the full band, you would have to order the five pack plus two additional singles. So, you know, it was absolutely possible to put this band together. And in reoccurring releases of these figures, though, they always fell back on the original five, not including the two band members that played the same instrument and doubled up. And it's interesting that with the commemorative tin release, and the theme park sound base release, the figures were given a redeco. They were given more paint articulation, especially on the instruments, which were now no longer molded in one color, but actually got deco hits. 
not only did they stick to the same five original releases, but they used the exact same mold, the exact same tool that was originally released in 96 as part of the fan club mail-away. So while this figure has gotten re-released over the years, unlike other figures, he has never been re-sculpted, or rather they have never been re-sculpted. They've always used the exact same figure. So we have yet to see, if you will, a vintage collection version on a vintage card that's highly articulated, maybe adding, uh, you know, elbow or, or a shoulder articulation, uh, you know, maybe knee articulation. So we're still using the exact same tool from, you know, 25 years ago at this point. We have yet to get him re-released. But hey, at least they've made it into our collection, and it was a cool way to get them by mailing off to the fan club. And I got my five-pack. Maybe I should order uh, two more singles or check eBay to complete my band. Who knows? But the Cantina band members were finally here for your toy collection.